In central Kenya, food is rotting while millions of Kenyans are going hungry, mostly in the arid north. Poor roads, limited transportation and storage facilities are being blamed for the lack of food distribution. Farmers are calling on the government to intervene. Kathy Maitany has more from Nairobi. A tale of two cities. Children have little to eat in northeastern Kenya, while farmers cannot even give away what they produce in Kiningop constituency, about an hour and a half's drive from the capital. In the lush 1,400 square kilometer constituency in the Rift Valley, farmers say bad roads and lack of transport make it difficult for them to get their produce to the market. During a recent trip to the area, VOA was able to purchase 30 cabbages, an entire trunk full, for a total of $1.50. That is the other problem for farmers. Food prices are low, while their production costs for things like fertilizer are high. But what really bothers farmer Nahashan Gitao is that he wastes at least one quarter of his harvest during the region's worst drought in more than a half a century. For the government to make some arrangements, say, perhaps even give transport, then they can buy it at a good price, then give to those people instead of asking for food from overseas, which is very bad. When we are throwing away food, they are asking for food from overseas. Gitao says that if the government were to offer a fair price for his produce, his almost three hectare farm could contribute a lot to relief efforts. From my farm, I will perhaps sell every season, say, a hundred bags of potatoes and perhaps 10,000 heads of cabbages, say, three times in a year. Can we use that? I can manage that product. And I've got some other farmers who can do even better than me. Kinangop District Officer Panina Nzombo tells VOA why local governments have not made it a priority to act. Say we've not really had a forum to voice that out. You know, in our department, in most cases, we usually work through reports and all that. So it depends on who will read the report. But we do, we've not had, or we've not made the effort to have it like a, a priority that we want ABCD addressed. She says her office does not receive enough funds from the central government to pave roads and take other measures to improve farmers' access to markets. The Kenyan government office in charge of disaster relief, the Ministry of State for Special Programs, would not grant VOA an interview despite repeated requests. The situation in Kinangop constituency highlights long-running inefficiencies in food distribution and agricultural markets within Kenya. Scholars agree widely that, with proper systems in place, Kenya has the capacity to feed itself, even during times of drought. Instead, foreign food aid and food imports continue to pour in. Economists say food imports reduce local food prices, decrease the productivity of Kenyan farmers, and increase dependency among the people. Kathy Maitany for VOA News, Nairobi.